All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, uh, I'm gonna go on a little bit of an adventure. Well, not really. No, it's actually I'm trying to make it sound way cooler than what it actually is. But if you guys have watched any of my videos, you know usually I try to do a little bit of a cinematic sequence uh, in almost every video. But um, I don't have a stabilizer or a gimbal or anything like that, so I decided that I was gonna try to make my own steady cam. Um, I know people have done it before and there's other videos you can watch so I'm not going to get real technical in it but um, I've, I've got an idea on how I want to do it so I think I'm going to go out to Lowe's and grab a little bit of material and try to make this thing as cheap as I possibly can and uh, probably have to stop by Walmart or Dick's or somewhere like that get a little bit of a weight counterweight to put on the bottom of the thing but I think my idea will work um, with me being an electrician I'm going to rigid conduit as my actual frame for this thing I think it'll give it a little bit of weight itself and uh, I know some fittings and stuff that I think will work great for mounting the camera on and holding the weights on and things like that so yeah I'm going to uh, I'm gonna go out to Lowe's real quick and grab some stuff and then we'll probably try to do a little bit of a video on uh, putting this thing together and what materials I got and then you know I'd like to do a pretty cool uh, cinematic b-roll sequence with it and uh, see if it helps my footage be more stabilized so uh yep i'm gonna go to walmart now see you oh, let's make sure this heat is on it is hot it is cold i mean all right so we're gonna let that bad boy warm up before i go anywhere because said it's a little bit cool out today. Forgot my coffee bear back. Alright, yeah, had to get some coffee before I went out. Ah, delicious. So, yeah, we're gonna hit the road now. Raining again, which is awesome. I really don't want to get my new camera wet. Oh, yeah, first video on a new camera. Cheers. Alright, guys, so now we're in the car. Got my coffee, got everything ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna head on up to Lowe's, maybe go out to eat uh, and get some lunch with the wife uh, since uh, the boys in school and may even go get the old haircut and the beard trim. So uh, yeah, we are gonna head up the road now. I'll check back in with you once we get wherever I decide I'm going first. So see you there. Woo -hoo -hoo! Haven't made it to Lowe's yet, but as you can see, hopefully it's not too dark in the car here. As you can see, I just went and got a balling haircut and got the old beard trimmed up for the first time ever so uh yeah feeling pretty good looking pretty fly went to uh blue collar barber shop in uh kingsport tennessee down on lynn garden drive so uh, if anybody watching this is local go down there and check them out let uh brandon hook it up for you done pretty good so now we're heading to lowe's and uh, we're going to try to get uh, what we need to do this stabilizer so we can continue this video so uh Check back in with you here in just a bit. All right, guys. Uh, went out, run some errands, went and met the wife for lunch, got us about to eat, and uh, went and got the haircut, the beard trimmed for the first time ever. And I must say, looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Um, but yeah, I stopped by Lowe's and I picked up what I think I needed to make a steady cam or a stabilizer. Uh, like I said, I do a lot of, uh, I try to at least, to do a lot of cinematic kind of B-roll cut sequences um, on the channel here. And uh, sometimes those handheld shots are, depending on what you're doing, the terrain you're walking on, it just doesn't turn out the way that I want it to. Um, I've been trying to upgrade some of my camera equipment. And I got new lenses, new camera, uh, trying to make this channel look better for you guys. And I like the way it looks, you know, whenever things in a little bit better uh quality as well so uh, unfortunately I don't want to spend five six seven eight hundred dollars on a gimbal not at this very moment it's close to Christmas I got a family I uh, just can't afford it right now 
um, and I don't I don't want to necessarily spend the money on a steady cam so I figured I would make my own uh, there's plenty of videos as you guys know about steady cams I just want to show you the one that I make I figured I'd do a little video about it I'm not gonna go into super detail on every little thing that I do but I am gonna kind of describe to you guys the materials and stuff that I've used I may do a little bit about uh, making it and things like that but um, for the most part I just wanted to kind of put a video out letting you guys know that you know you don't have to spend bukus of money to make things look great um, and perform the way you want them to perform so I think the idea that I've come up with is gonna work out really well um, and then you know once I get everything built up here in just a little bit we may do a little bit of a uh, uh, you know a cinematic sequence a b-roll sequence um, nothing too crazy I plan on doing another video later this weekend that'll really showcase how this uh, you know this steady cam homemade steady cam works but I will do a little bit today and kind of give you some handheld shots versus the steady cam that we're fixing to make so uh, like I said earlier I'm an electrician so the first thing that popped into my head for a frame on this thing uh, was conduit it's something that you know I knew I could get um, you know go to Lowe's and get really easy and something that I know how to work with so that's what I used so um, what I did was is I got some three-quarter inch rigid conduit um, I just cut it into you know two 15 inch pieces I've got another one down here um, here is the here's the two 15 inch pieces I have two floor flanges one of these which is this one this is gonna be the base and what I'm thinking is is I can actually use this um, take this off and I can slide some uh, plates some weighted plates up on here if I need to but uh, another reason I wanted to use rigid conduit was is this is already kind of heavy guys so I think I don't know I'm gonna be able to get away without even using any counterweights on the bottom of this thing just because by the time I put this thing together it's gonna be so heavy anyways um, I think it's gonna work out great and then I also got a, um, a 12 inch piece and hold on just a second I have a phone call here that's my wife I'll, I'll answer it in a minute babe. I'm not ignoring um, but yeah, so then I got a T-piece here. Um, I got these two pieces. Uh, I've got a three-quarter inch pipe fitting, a T right here. And then this is going to be my top. I'll actually mount a piece of wood to this with uh, some bolts and stuff. And uh, then we'll mount the camera to the piece of wood. But what I've basically got in mind is with this T, I can screw these two 15-inch pieces together. So then I have a 30-inch tall steady cam so there's that whole piece as you can see there and then I have went and made a 12 inch piece out of three quarter rigid conduit and put a cap on the end of it just so there's not an open hole that will go right here and I'll tighten all this down better once I get everything how I want it and a truck comes through makes all kinds of noise appreciate it dude <clears throat> And that's annoying. Okay, um, so yeah, so this is technically gonna be my handle where you can hold the camera part up here, hold here, and then you can get a really good, you know, kind of um, steady wide angle. I didn't want something really close just because I feel like the closer you are to this, the more shake you're gonna be able to have in it. So if you can get a good wide grip, you can really keep things nice and smooth even when you're doing pan in and pan out shots, roll ins. Uh, you can do quite a bit with this and then you can even pivot really well with this with it being such a long handle so I think this is gonna work out guys this is my idea so we've got a base a top plate uh, for the top like I said I'm actually gonna mount this four inch piece of uh, two before I'll drill some holes and mount that there then I'll have one hole with a quarter 20 screw coming up through to mount my camera up on top of that um, that way it's just it's not like the camera sitting on that bare wood plus it gives me something to, uh, to grasp my uh, bolts and stuff to uh, I picked up a, um, a bit kit so I can drill through the wood uh, I'll probably end up doing 5 16 holes to uh, get the, the uh, heads of these screws to where they will actually recess up inside of the wood I picked up six of these screws so three of these will be to hold the piece of wood to the actual um, steady cam itself I did pick up some washers and some uh, 
some of these wing nuts to uh, basically hold the piece of wood to the steady cam. That way, if I ever wanted to take it off, it'll be super easy to get off because I've, I've got these wing nuts to come off with. And then um, these are quarter 20s, so then the fourth one is actually just going to be in the piece of wood, sticking up a little bit with a uh, regular nut on it. And then that way I can just screw the camera straight down onto the quarter 20 there. So uh, without further ado, I think I'm going to go ahead and drill a couple of uh, holes through this wood here. And uh, we'll see if we can't try to make something out of this. I got a pair of gloves and that's why I'm wearing my glasses. It's not even really sunny out here today, but uh, kind of doubling these up as safety glasses to keep any wood chips and stuff like that from flying up into my eyes. Lastly, I picked up some black paint, some satin black paint, just to paint everything black and make it look a little more legit than just, you know, a big chunk of metal and wood in my hand. So we'll paint that at the very end if everything goes according to plan. So uh, I guess without further ado, I'm gonna go get the drill um, and uh, we'll start, uh, start cutting away and drilling away on this thing, see if we can't make something out of it. So hang in there and I'll see you in just a minute. All right, so we're back up top here. Um, I basically took my two before that I that I cut four inches long. I put my uh, floor flange on it, marked my holes. I drilled each one of the holes out for a quarter inch, and then I actually took a half inch and went through on the back side and recessed all the holes, uh, probably halfway down with a half inch. That way, the bolt head would sit up inside of the piece of wood, and the bolt heads wouldn't be hanging out because uh, this is the side that the camera will sit on. As you can tell, this one here is the quarter 20 sticking up that will actually mount the camera to the to the whole system. Um, so now that I've got the, the floor flange mounted to the piece of wood, we're actually able now to go back to the steady cam frame, I shall say, and we can put the steady cam down on it face it in the direction that we want and then um, I should be able now to mount my camera up on top of here and basically now we have a steady cam. I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably throw a little paint on this thing so it looks a little bit better and I will check back in with you guys and uh, we will see how the overall uh, you know functionality of this uh, homemade steady cam works here so there it is in its entirety guys you got a handle here camera up top and then you've got all your counterweight down at the bottom and you should be able to get some really good smooth footage with it so uh, i'm going to go ahead and paint it and we will check back in with you guys and i'll probably show you a little bit of footage that i take with it so uh, let's go ahead and do that now all right so we've got everything painted up everything ready to go so what i'm going to do is to kind of test and see what kind of you know footage I can get with this homemade steady cam. I'm gonna do five B-roll shots. Um, all of them will be kind of like panning shots, me walking forward, backward, whatever. Um, I'm gonna try to do the same shot, uh, same five shots by holding the camera, but simply nothing but handheld. And then I'll do the same five shots with uh, you know the the steady cam on it. And then we'll show you guys what those look like. And then I'll even probably do one, uh, you know, handheld. Uh, then I'll do one with the uh, steady cam. And then I'll even do a uh, overall B-roll sequence at the end that will be, uh, you know, uh, stabilization fixed and posed as well. So you can kind of see handheld, the steady cam by itself, and then the steady cam with, um, you know, post stabilization added on uh, whenever I get everything back onto the computer and loaded up. So. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, let's go do that now.
All right, guys, there you go. That's what I had for today. Um, after going through the footage, I'm gonna let you guys be the judge. What did you think? Did it look better with the Steadicam? Um, I think that there's definitely better options out there, of course. You can get an actual Steadicam, or if you wanna spend you know, quite a bit of money, you can go out and get yourself a gimbal by you know, uh, Zion Tech or uh, DJI has a really good one. Um, but for me personally, I just can't afford those right now, so I wanted something that would help my, my uh, you know, videography go to the next level and still be cheap, and I had fun making it, and I got to share this video with you guys. So overall, I think the footage looked better. Uh, definitely, you know, anything better than handheld is gonna be better. Uh, you know, that's just common sense, but I'll let you guys be the judge. Anyways, I'll let you guys be the judge. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the footage, you know, handheld versus, uh, you know, steady cam. And then even afterwards when I put the steady cam into post and really knocked out some of that, uh, that blur. Um, I think this weekend I'm going to try to go out and do uh, maybe a video with one of my buddies on his motorcycle. And I'm going to showcase this uh, steady cam and really how it can help you out. Anyways, um, so yeah, we're... Uh, I appreciate you guys for watching. If you uh, are new to this channel, please go ahead and think about subscribing. We do all kinds of cool stuff here. Uh, if you've been here before, give me a thumbs up. It really would help me guys out, bringing you guys new, fresh content. And if you don't care, uh, share this for me on Facebook, Twitter, wherever, and uh, let your friends know all about the channel. I'm Justin Green, and I appreciate you guys for checking it out. Thanks.